So I received this massive box in the mail today, and I was confused at first. When I opened it up, my questions were answered. Today, we'll be taking a look at the P27 soundbar from Fianu. Opening up the Amazon box reveals a rather strange retail box and an accessories box. We'll get to the accessories in a moment, but let's have a closer look at the soundbar and subwoofer. The sub is reasonably sized, it has 10 sound levels, and its 5 quarter inch driver delivers 60 of the total 120 watts when hooked up to the soundbar. It's made out of wood and the build is acceptable. The soundbar also delivers 60 watts with its dual 2 and 3 quarters drivers. Circling back to the accessories box, it has a thank you letter and some paperwork, and beneath that is a box with some gloves, foam wall mounting pieces, an optical audio cable, an HDMI cable for ARC, a 3.5mm aux cable that terminates to a left and right RCA, wall mounting hardware, and a template which is nice. In the other box is the remote control and it takes AAA batteries which aren't included. Below all of that is a setup guide and a user manual. Going back to the sub and soundbar, the sub has a fairly slim profile going along with the 34 inch length of the soundbar. The soundbar is constructed with a glossy plastic and of course metal for the grill. At the front, there's not a whole lot going on but there's an LED display in the center to indicate volume level and what input is selected. To the right, there's a USB port which I'm assuming is for playing back audio files and volume adjustment buttons with a power button in the center. Towards the rear are all of the inputs for connecting to your devices, namely a TV. And there's a spot for plugging in the sub. But if your TV is stupid like mine, you have the option for either an optical cable, HDMI for ARC, or Bluetooth. Now that all of that's out of the way, let's get this set up and see how it performs. I did plan on going with ARC, but since there are only two HDMI ports, I'm stuck with Toslink until I can get a splitter. ARC does work though, it's nice to be able to use one remote to control volume. But alas, the evil optical cable will have to do. Luckily, the included remote works well. In terms of audio quality and clarity, it's solid. It does really well in my opinion. Compared to the previous Teotronic soundbar I was using, generally speaking, they both sound really good, but the Fiano is still a step up. Definitely a bit clearer on the P27. That bass is very nice. It really is heavy as stated in the product description. But no, if you feel that the bass or treble isn't to your liking, you can fine tune yourself using the remote. There's also pre-configured modes for different content situations. I don't think I'll find myself really messing with that when I'm playing a game or watching a movie, but in general, this soundbar works really well for just about any type of content. Music is great to listen to, watching movies, doing really anything, the P27 is really enjoyable to listen to. The LED display does a decent job of displaying the volume and input. By default, it shows the input you've selected. If you just got a TV or have had a TV with terrible audio, the P27 soundbar from Fiano is a great solution. You probably won't have issues setting it up with most TVs, as it has all of the more common and obscure input solutions. The price is also pretty decent if you ask me. My previous soundbar cost 80 or so dollars, and during the recording of this video, the P27 can be had for about 130. I'd say that the extra 50 or so dollars is definitely worth it. I definitely recommend giving the Fiano, Pianu, Fianu, I, I don't know, P27 a look if you're wanting to upgrade your home theater setup. It may not have all the bells and whistles from other solutions, but it has enough for most people and delivers exceptional audio quality without breaking the bank. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments section and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, but if not, you know where to go. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel and hit notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.